Welcome back, welcome back. We got a knife here. And I'm gonna open this one up off screen to protect the innocent. Um, there's definitely a phenomenon in the knife community that we do. Got my receipt out of here. Thank you from Matt at Berg Blades. Cool swag included in there. There's a phenomenon in the knife community about what, let me get this out of here, uh, what Riot is capable of doing. <clears throat> so when I see really compelling designs from Riot, I tend to like to try and get them in hand, see what I think. And someone mentioned this one, and I am super interested to see what I think. Um, this is the Bird Blades Sweeney. He actually makes a few other really nice looking models. Um, but this is made by Riot. And man, it is definitely nice. Very much my speed. I wish I had a little more finger choil up here on the front. Man, if they had, if he had somehow made that like one big swoop here, so you could really choke up in that. You actually can quite well, but your finger is above the blade, which is a little dangerous. It'd be nice if you could sink it in right behind the blade there. And true to form, Riot, phenomenal. This one looks like it's numbered, this is number 51. Really nice pocket clip. This one has the satin belt grind um, on M390. There is also a Damas steel version. And that feels quite good. It is a little sharp on the thumb hole. Not great for the, if this had been cut back a little further and you could get up into the thumb hole a little more, it'd be even better. You can do it, but you really got to force your finger way up in there and then you can get it out of there. It's actually not bad, it's, but I'd say it's not great. It's not super intuitive. Like that is a pretty unnatural amount of pressure I'm having to put on there. Whereas the reverse flick, perfect. It's a little high again, like it's not bad actually. That's, that's pretty damn good. I was probably just holding it funny. Now let's try that. Front flip, perfect. Man, that's a, a nice little front flipper. Very easy, but strong detent, like no, no lack of detent here. Pretty hard to fail it. You can see you have to put a pretty good amount of pressure to get it out of there. But you can roll it out still, which is a really fantastic combo. When you can still roll out a knife, but it has strong detent, but it doesn't like pop out in some sort of like kind of crazy. And sometimes it's just because of the positioning. Like you can see how far away this is from the pivot. I can grab way down here. Whereas, you know, if you're up here near the pivot, it's going to pop out a little more. But here you can just kind of get in a little lower and get a little more leverage and get out of there. It pops out a little bit, but it's not bad. Nice inset liner lock. What I call a inset frame lock. Inset frame lock. We have a scale over the frame. That's an inset, inset frame lock, which is very nice, very choice. And as always with Riot, you just have really nice action. Let's see if I can, I, I think it's too strong on the detent for me to do it that way. Choke up on it's great. There's no jimping, but it doesn't feel like you need it for some reason. It feels very good there. You know, this reminds me a lot actually of my HMC, um, with my HMC transient, but with a front flipper instead of a rear flipper. All right, let's get some of this out of here and really get focused on the knife here. A little bit of the detail. Ooh, yeah. I mean, that's really nicely rounded around the scales. I'd say no details overlooked too much on this one. It does a little sharp in here. You can see some of my fingernails getting coming off inside there. I did notice that a little bit. If this was a little more chamfered, it might be nice. You get good purchase on it like this, but a little more chamfered would be nice. Love how the lock bar actuates there. Um, you know, really showing it's doing its job. The lockup is good. It's, I wouldn't call it late, it's, I call it medium. Sort of, sort of in the sweet spot where I don't feel uncomfortable, but it's not late. Um, beautiful milled pocket clip. Maybe a little sharp at the tip there, but not too bad. You could definitely catch certain types of pants on that. Pretty strong, might be a little challenging getting that one inside and out of the pocket. I got a big, thick 
pocket material here and it's not going to go in there i can tell you that on these particular pants nice little satin hardware pretty straightforward right nothing like crazy here and i like that um that's it's just, yeah, kind of surprising these days but a lot of knives just get built in ways that are not intuitive um you have relief here to get to the thumb hole Let's see if i can zoom back in on that so you have nice relief here to both get to the lock bar and to the thumb hole, which I like. But it's, I like this to be a little more, like I wish this was a little slantier, a little slopier here. I don't really like the super sharp um, uh, relief. I like it when it kind of slants in a little more. So you get a little more room to get up into it and uh, whatnot. And when you're grabbing it, you have a little more room for your middle finger. Like my middle finger is landing you either have it here or you have it like kind of landing right on that little sharp spot there and that little point. So that's not great. Now you can choke down on it and then it feels pretty comfortable, but now you're way away from the blade. Um, it's fine, you know, for whatnot, but I, I think just this little area from here to here, if it had been a little more ergonomic, it could have been an improvement, but it's not terrible either. It's generally what I like, but it's just a little off from sort of my sweet spot. I'm actually having less issues now deploying the thumb, of course, and I miss. Um, you, you do have to put a decent amount of pressure on there, though. But I'm having less issues than I did when I first started on it. Um, I'm, you know, now trying to do it with a little less pressure. If you put the pressure on there, you get an amazing pop. You can see that thing just hits hard. That's awesome. And I uh, love this carbon fiber. That's probably my favorite carbon fiber look. Um, yeah, it's just very nice looking, very high quality looking here. So another banger from Riot. You don't even have to check the edge on Riot knives. You just know they're going to be good. But for the sake of proving it out, um, uh, we have plenty of paper in here, so I might as well cut some. like one little Hang on, let me see if that's me or if it's the blade I think it was me it's not super duper sharp actually and there's like one little spot here that's not not doing a great job but other parts of it are yeah interesting not super duper sharp but good enough you know, it's going to get through a box or whatever, uh, get through some box tape. I like the blade. It's sort of like a, like a slight drop point, um, a little pokey at the end for me. I kind of like almost more of a, you know, a little bit of a, eh, it's pretty darn good. You know, for I think for most people, that's, that's pretty much what they're looking for. So I can't really knock that nice little swedge across the top of the blade. The thumb hole's pretty damn good. It's always good to kind of get a sense of how you need to make the thumb hole in order to make it work. I think there are a lot of misses on thumb holes. Um, you know, this is kind of the same issue I see with the Rosie where it's not too bad, but you really have to put a lot of pressure in there because the thumb hole goes right all the way up into the scale. So that can happen. Whereas I never have that happen on the um, SPK Lamia because the thumb hole is not like terminated at the scale. It, it's terminated before the scale. So you can get into it without any, doing anything unnatural and, you know, pop the blade out. You know, assuming you can overcome the detent, which I didn't there. I see a similar thing here with the TW Price Dawn where it's in the right spot. The only problem with this knife is that, um, well, it's not a problem, but the only design preference that I have is that this, if this had been kind of like to here and then flattened out or whatever, like having this peak right there is pretty inconvenient to try and get into the thumb hole, but you can. Um, yeah, I don't know. The HMC Transient's not a great example because it's not a common production knife, but works pretty darn well, even though it's uh, also got sort of a similar issue to the Sweeney. Um, but the detent's maybe a little lighter or something like that, so it's pretty easy to overcome. But again, thumb hole terminating all the way into the scale is fine for reverse flick because you're naturally going away from the knife more, although you're going a little upward in a perfect execution. 
with the thumb, you're not usually wanting to go sideways with your thumb, right? You want to go forward. And so I really like a little bit more room between the thumb hole and the scale, um, especially with this one, it's kind of tall. Like if this was knocked down a bit more, it might be a little easier to get in there if this was, you know, kind of ramped more. Um, so I think that's kind of what I'm, what I'm getting at there. Um, less extreme example, but you can see here this ramp on the rosy um, right next to the scale is kind of nice relief to get into there. This doesn't really have a ramp on it, although there is relief. Um, so, you know, not for, not many people will care about this level of detail, but those are the things that I dig into um, when I'm trying to determine is this, you know, like a sweet spot knife. Man, overall, this reminds me a lot of the um, McGinnis Spoke. Um, but, you know, a much, much less expensive version. I think this is in the mid 300s, depending on which model you get. If you maybe get up to like 500 with Damasteel or something, that's a much lower price point. So overall, very nice knife. I'm not doing a review here. It's just an unboxing and first impression. Nice uh, backspacer. Um, love the front flipper. It's very good. And the reverse flick is very good. So for most people, those are the two, you know, kind of choice methods. Um, if they had gotten the thumb just a little, a little easier to get to, man, that would have been a freaking near perfect knife if, uh, you know, this was, because this would all kind of come together where your fingers would kind of roll into it a little better. You get to the thumb hole better. So just this little area here could, could definitely benefit from some adjustment. But uh, overall, that's a very, very, very good knife. I'm splitting hairs on some things there and uh, highly recommendable for sure. So uh, all for now, uh, Bird Blade Sweeney, and I will see you on the next one. Take care.